Okay, right here is a 1945 Bucyrus Monahan 9W walking drag line. The 9W model was first introduced by Bucyrus Monahan in 1938. This machine had a production run that lasted up until 1954, and the machine was available from Bucyrus with either diesel or electric power. Now, let's go and get a closer look at the 9, and I'll take and show you around this machine and tell you some history and information about it. The 9W could be set up with buckets ranging anywhere from 8 to 10 cubic yards. 9 cubic yards was normally standard for this machine, and that's what you're looking at right here. This is a 9 cubic yard bucket that you see on this 9W. Here you can see where the drag rope runs out from inside the drum through the fair lead. The whole purpose of a fair lead on one of these big drag lines is to keep the drag rope further away from the front of the machine. It steadies the rope and prevents it from fishtailing back and forth when the bucket is being casted out or pulled in so that the rope doesn't tend to tear the side of the house of this machine apart. Here you can get a good view of the tub on the 9W and all the individual rollers that'll swing this machine when it's running. Here you can get a good view of the operator's cab on the 9. Bucyrus Monahan offered the 9W with two different control system setups depending on what the customer preferred. The operator could choose to have the 9W set up with either direct all-power control or friction control, which was a very nice feature. This particular 9W is set up with direct all-power control. A 9W can be set up with booms ranging anywhere from 160 to 200 feet. This 9W is set up with a 200-foot boom. And right here on the side of the machine, you can see where it says, B. Cyrus Monahan Company, Chicago, Illinois, the Model 9W, and the machine serial. Here you can see one of the big shoes on the 9. These shoes are connected to the cranking gear by a pin, which allows the shoe to have some flexibility so that when the machine is walking or maneuvering around, the shoes can flex a little bit to the left or to the right. Here you can see the cranking gear, which connects inside to the shaft, and when this is engaged, it will push both shoes down on the ground, tip the back of the drag line up, and slide this entire machine backward. Now, as I said earlier, Bucyrus Monahan offered the 9W with either diesel or electric power, depending on what the customer preferred. This particular 9W is electric powered, but if this machine were set up with diesel power, the 9W would be powered with a six-cylinder Fairbanks Morse diesel engine, which would put out 630 horsepower. On the back side of the drag line, the two metal doors that you see in the center there are to allow air circulation in back by the motors and also access in the back of the house of the machine when it's in operation. And if you look up top on the side of the A-frame, you can see the original metal sign that says, Bucyrus Monahan. In total, 44 9Ws were built by Bucyrus Monahan up until 1954 when production ended for this machine. 
and the overall working weight of a 9W is 511 tons. This 9W is one of two that was purchased together back in the 1940s. Actually, the sister machine to this 9W is one year older. Early in their career, both drag lines were given the nicknames Jack and Jill. This is Jill that you're looking at right here, and she is still in operation today.